ESP32 microcontrollers are a great option for building IoT projects. Built-in Wi-Fi allows them to send and receive data from internet and there are many example projects for this. What's new in this video is controlling your ESP32 using this browser-based remote, available as an out-of-the-box web service. This DIY project needs no coding. You can set it up in less than 15 minutes. The project has practical utility. You can make your own home automation systems using this DIY project. Like an app, you can install this code on your ESP32. Place your Wi-Fi credentials here. Replace this auth token with your token and upload the code. Create an account on this website to get access to your online web remote and receive your auth token. Configure the remote and you are all set to control your ESP32 over internet. Let me show you a demo. On the screen, you can see the web remote, which will control this ESP32 connected to a relay board. And this is a serial monitor of Arduino IDE to see the code activity. The eight channels of the relay board are connected to ESP32 via these GPIO pins, as per the connection details shown on the screen. You just need to assign the GPIO pins of your ESP32 to the buttons of your web remote using this configuration page. That's it, you are all set to control your ESP32 over internet. Let's power up the ESP through laptop's USB port so that we can see the code activity on serial monitor window. You can see that ESP is attempting to connect to Wi-Fi, connected successfully, and made a HTTP request to the Hello World website, received this JSON response from the website, decoded the JSON to get the GPIO pin numbers and their states. Now let's toggle some pins using the remote. ESP32 continues to make the HTTP request at fixed intervals and receives the data with respect to the pins which have been toggled. Accordingly, the respective relays have been activated and we received feedback on the remote that the command has been executed. Observe how the content of JSON data changes whenever we toggle the buttons on the web remote. If no button is toggled through the web remote, the JSON string remains empty during the next fetch cycle of ESP32. You can control up to 4 ESP32 using these 4 remote instances available to you. For example, I have configured another remote with only 6 buttons to control 6 GPIO pins of another ESP32. This ESP is powered through a battery bank and runs the same code. Every ESP32 has a built-in LED connected to GPIO pin 2. Let's control it. You can again select back the previous remote to control the other ESP. Plugging it out from the USB deactivates all the relays and serial monitor activity has stopped. Let's power it through the battery bank now. You can see ESP32 has automatically fetched the last state of the remote and activates the corresponding relays again. And now you can control it as described in the video again. With this web remote, you can control your ESP32 as well as Raspberry Pis. I have described how to use this web remote with Raspberry Pi in this video. The code for Raspberry Pi is also available at the GitHub link provided below. So go ahead and build your IoT projects with this web remote and let me know your experience 
in the comments below. Also, check this website for more IoT and robotics projects. Thanks for watching.